Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I think you heard it now for the fifth or sixth time, but uh, it's still uh, something I want to say. Good morning in this wonderful city. Good morning in Ukraine. It's the first time for me to come to the Ukraine, and I'm very glad to be here. Um, and I'm very, I'm very glad to learn that uh, there are uh, there's still life beside the pictures we get all the time from Maidan Place, and there is a wonderful life. And first, and before everything else, I want to wish all the best to Ukraine, and I want to wish all the best to the people of the Ukraine to, uh, to, to make the best out of the situation. Second, I want to say uh, thank you to the Gabriel Al Salem Foundation and to the IMC Ukraine. It's a wonderful initiative. This uh, a Congress you are organizing the third time by now. It is very important for the consulting business all over the world. And um, I want to say to you that uh, the problems we have in consulting business, the issues we need to handle and the tasks we need to handle are more, more or less the same all over the world. Something like uh, 2012, I guess, we made a survey asking around 200 consulting companies and their clients. What are the main reasons that clients choose a specific consulting company? Why do they make up the mind to choose this uh, um, service provider? I don't know how many of you ever ask yourself the question, you as a consulting provider, but uh, the consultants gave us the answer first. It is what we would call a personal relationship. You get a good contact, a good relation to your, to your client. Second, it would be the price. It must be a good price. And third, is that the client understands the project. What are the goals? What are the targets? What is the timeline? And then we ask, the clients, why do you choose a specific consulting company? It should be more or less the same, but it isn't. First, they say, we want to have a clear offer. We want to know what we are buying. Second, they say, it's personal relationship. And third, they say, it's price. So what do we learn out of this? We as consultants do an excellent job all the time, but for us as consultants, it is regular business to make a regular good job. We need to inform our clients, we need to address our clients that we are doing this all the day, all the time. And this is why ICMCI has a couple of initiatives, and Francesco mentioned them to inform our clients. Consulting business is a service-based, uh, as a knowledge-based service, is something where you can make up quality assurance as you can make up quality assurance when you buy a table. When you buy a table, you see is it the same size, the same color, do you like it? But when you buy a knowledge-based service, how do you measure quality? And you can, and you can do it very easily. And this is why we have uh, in the ICMCI our initiatives. You mentioned CMC. Most of you, I hope everybody of you is a CMC. We have the initiatives in, the, in setting up standards on European level now, starting on the ISO negotiations. And third, with uh, the Constantinos International. An award like Gabriel Al Salem Foundation makes an award is always a good media, a good medium to address the market and state to the market, we can make a good project and we want you as the market, we want you as the clients to understand our business. Only mature professionalists, but also mature clients can have a good project. And this is why I want to say thank you, Gabriel Al Salem Foundation. I want to thank you, Victoria and uh, the IMC Ukraine, where's Elena? She's doing some, ah, over there. <laughs> I want to thank you to organize this conference and I wish you all the best for the for the for today. Thank you. Yeah.